Hi guys, my name's James. Welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk review video of the new MagnaClean Atom in the stores at the start of December, so I'm told. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a quick look at it, the components in it, we're gonna talk about the product, then I'm gonna mock up a small install, put a fair bit of sludge in there and see if it can trap all that. And also I'm gonna address your questions that you asked us on our live video a few days ago. So guys, let's get on with the video. Let's learn about this amazing new product. Remember to please subscribe to our channel, please click the like button, and if you've got any questions, please comment below. It's great you do that because I want you guys to learn about this product, and the only way for you to do that is to ask more questions. So let's get on with this video. Remember everyone, the whole day. So I think the best place to start is to talk about why AD have developed this product. The reason AD have made this product is because they realized that there was a problem. They'd listen to you guys as installers and as plumbers and people using their products and others, and they realized there was a problem when it came to installing filters and also servicing them. And what the problem was is that you needed a fair bit of space around them to do it. So what they've done is they've invented a really good filter. I'm just gonna get it all out of the box now. Now, one of the questions I got of some of you guys was that this filter looks like one of the Nationals own made filters. So let's address those differences while we're talking about the product itself. So number one, we've got our actual inserts and our inputs on here. So we've got 22 millimeter compression coming in and then we've got a 22 millimeter compression coming out. But number one, the big difference is, is you've got this very handy slip coupling here. Now a slip coupling is a very, very handy piece of kit if you want to be installing something in a small space. It means that the whole fitting can move up and down the pipe. What we can do is we have to cut out 115 millimeters of pipe, then we can remove that bit of pipe, put the slip coupling in, pop this down onto the pipe at the bottom, slip coupling round, do it up, do both compression nuts up, and you're done, it's installed. I'll show you how to do that in a minute properly anyway. Now that's number one, you don't get that on any other filter. I've not seen that anywhere yet. Now, the biggest thing I like about it so far is this bypass valve. Now normally when we do any kind of servicing work to a filter, doesn't matter what make it is, you have to turn off a valve at the bottom and at the top, then you have to take the filter out and work on it. Turning those two valves off means that you have to turn the heating system off, the pump off. With this they supply a nice little spanner and we can bypass just by doing that. So what we can do when we're servicing is we just flip the bypass round, water will just carry on straight through. We don't even need to turn the system off. We've also got a standard bleed nut. One of you guys asked me, how am I supposed to dose through that when I'm dosing the heating system? Well, if you use rapid dose, you'll find it's really, really easy because they've got their small connector that will go straight into the top like that and it will go in. But if you want, you can use the little spanner here to undo the bleed or you can use the middle pit to actually whip out the whole insert itself and then you can pour inhibitors like that. I wouldn't recommend you do that. If you're gonna go, just get one of these. It's miles quicker and a lot easier, a lot less messy. On the bottom, we've just got a drain off and that comes off just here like so with the same little spanner that we've got on here. So it's very, very simple, this product, guys. We're not, it's not trying to sort of trick you or do anything. It's not crazy. Let's just have a look at the filtration area itself. So we pop that off. We've got two rubber O-rings here, one on that one, one on that one there. So we've got two areas to stop any kind of leaking. And then we've got our in and out on here. Hopefully guys, if I work the valve, you should be able to see that moving around inside the body there like that. And then when it comes to the actual magnet itself, we've got the magnet in here. You've got the sheath that you pull off like that, which will hopefully have all your sludgy magnetite on it. Wash that out, pop that back on there. You've done your servicing and it's very, very easy just to bring it all back together again. Another couple of features that I really like about it is the fact that it can be installed in a lot of different orientations. So effectively, you can have the pipe going through it like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Um, one thing you can't do, and it's very similar to a pump, is have it upright because we all know, guys, air likes patches like that, and that could sit in there and cause an airlock. So don't install it with the AD head facing upwards. It's just not gonna like it a lot. Some of you asked me in the live Q&A video uh, how many radiators this can go on. I'd install this on a system of 10 to 12 radiators. After that, I'd install a normal MagnaClean. The other thing about this that I hope I'm gonna be able to demonstrate to you is the fact that if this was the top of a boiler, the table was the top of a boiler, and then we had our filter here and the ceiling here. On the other type of filter, you have to turn the two valves off and then lift the magnet out the top. With this one, all you're gonna have to do is get your grips on the end or get your hand on the end, undo that, and then pull this out and you can do all the work from end on, which is why this is a really, really handy product for that. So we had a question from Mark Croft. He asked, will the Atom last longer than the boiler or do you change both at the same time? Now, there's no reason that the Atom shouldn't last for 10 plus years, but it's best practice to change over a filter when you change the boiler anyway. So I'd just say swap it over. So look, that's enough about me talking about the product itself. 
let's prove that it actually can filter out. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this bit. I'm gonna pop a little VLO pump on there and we're gonna build up a little section so we can actually see this working. So let's get on with building that now. I'm gonna enjoy every second of it, guys. <laughs> I wish I wasn't mental. <laughs> Another big difference between the AD Atom and the other own brand product is the fact that the Atom protrudes roughly half the distance out than the other home brand models, making it even more space saving and easy to install. Also, loads of you asked whether the Atom was gonna have an adapter so you could use a magnet lens on it. I'm very pleased to tell you all that there will be an adapter coming out at the end of December 2018, so if you're watching after that time, you should be able to go to the store and buy it. Also, a lot of you asked whether there was going to be a 28 millimeter version of the Atom. I'd like to stress that AD listen to you guys and the market, but at the moment they feel that because this is gonna be used on smaller radiator systems, you're probably gonna be looking at a 22 millimeter flow and return anyway. Right then guys, so we've got our little rig done. Oh, I love doing this sort of thing. It's so cool sort of showing you like stuff really working and like proving it. It's so easy for manufacturers to say it does this, it does that, but me proving it for you, hopefully it's gonna go some way for you guys to saying, yeah, I actually believe this product and I'm gonna go and fit it. What we've got, we've got our VLO pump there, we've got two gate valves, they're both open, lever valve at the top that's closed at the moment, and then we've got that little bit up there that I'm gonna to have to use to fill this up. Might take a little while with me jugs. And then this nice straight bit of pipe here is where we're gonna install our new Atom. So like I was saying, this is a space saving device, but also it should be easy to install in small gaps, uh, which I'm perfect at getting in because I'm tiny. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna put a piece of gaffer tape at the top here, and then I'm gonna get another bit behind it. So then I know with this little thing, I haven't moved it, let's just line that up nicely. So there you go, that's that there. And then I'm gonna do the same down the bottom. Right then, also for some added realism, I don't know, I just wanna make it sort of difficult. So we've got a gap here of just over 300 mil. Should we bring it up a bit, shall we? Let's do it, let's bring it up. Right, I'm gonna mark that bit of pipe there. Right, so there we go. We now have a gap of 220 millimeters. Can we get it in, in a gap that big? Imagine this is the top of the boiler and that's the ceiling. I'm gonna say that I wanna make my first cut, my bottom cut about here, okay? Then all I need to do is measure up 115 millimeters from that cut. So measure up 115 mil is here. And then what do we do once we've measured 115 mil? Take measure on again and we check that it's 115 mil. Measure twice. Cut once. Measure four times if you have to. Cut once. So guys, before we cut this piece of pipe out, let's make sure that our little atom is ready to go. Use an adequate thread sealer on this to get this done. I'm gonna use PTFE for this, but normally I'd probably use a, like a Loctite for this sort of job. Boom, that's done. Right, so now it's ready to come back down. So let's do our first little bit and cut 115 mil out of this pipe. Cutting pipe me. I don't want the pipe to move up or down on this. So we're gonna leave that exactly where it is. We've got our little bits of stuff there so we know that we're not moving it. I'm not gonna put my hand below. We're just gonna do this all inside this little cavity area here. Nearly there. There we go, 115 mil gone. Yeah. If you pop a little bit of paper down on here, you know then that when you drop your nut on, it's not gonna fall all the way through down to the next floor, which would be a tragedy. Now you can pop your olive on, and if you want to, put a bit of jointing compound on here. I highly recommend it. Now for the cool bit. You can just slip that up there, just like that. Now we can just walk this into where it needs to go. How about that, isn't that wicked? So now for the cool bit, we can pop our slip coupling on. Just set it up just like so, just do that up. So there you go, as you can see, we've just got our slip coupling on here, and it's a matter, just pushing this down. You see that, look, the top pipe's not moving, nor is the bottom one. Bring up our nut, just like that. Nip up our compression at the top. If you want to, you can slacken it off and back and uh, put some jointing compound on there. Ugh. Right, there we go. So there we go, they're both nipped up now. Both of these are nipped up here. We've done it all within this space, this big here. We can get to all these bits. Right then, guys, now all that's done, I've got the sheer joy of filling this whole lot up with a jug. Let's get on with it, guys. First things first is our minging demo jar of water. I'm just gonna take the magnet out. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's loads of old sludgy boo in there. So let's see if this lot can be filtered out. So look at that horrible black water and loads of chunky bits of sludge on the end. It's definitely gonna test this beast. So let's pour that in. 
Guys, watch all that black sludgy water going into the bottom of that pipe. Surely the best test for any magnetic filter. Well, I've got about as much as I can get in there now. Right, guys, I'm away on my pump. Got a tiny little, yeah, little air bubble at the top here. Guys, I'm so excited. I love doing this. Right, let's plug the VO in and we'll just get that set so it's basically on the lowest speed for now because we're obviously not pumping very far. Look, oh, it's just like blocked with it. It's just, oh, oh it's going to be good. This is going to be good. Let's get that pump going. Right, oh, there we go, we've got flow. This is like the coolest thing. So we've got this winging around here at the moment. As you can see, the water is pretty bad. It's going round, it's pretty gnarly. We are now currently bypassing on this. Uh, what we're gonna do in very few seconds time is we're just gonna whack the bypass screw round and start filtering this lot out. So let's get that done now. Let's have a look. Start filtering. Let's, guys, take note of the color of the pipe work. With any luck, it should change as we start to filter. Right, so now we're running through here. Let's just leave it a few minutes. I'm just gonna leave it, let it do its thing. So here's a closer look of the actual setup that we've got running at the moment. Everything's sloshing about and you can see the water's clearing already. I decided to leave it for a few minutes, have myself a cup of coffee and about four or five of them really, really yummy lotus biscuits before coming back and having a look. Right guys, so we've been filtering for a little while now. The water has already gone a lot clearer. So let's demonstrate the process that we do if we were servicing this. Let's try and put some dose in here as well. Um, right, so we've got our pump set on one. We've got water rushing around the system still. We don't need to turn it off, do we? We don't need to turn the pump off or the boiler off. All I need to do is get my little spanner in here and switch this over from going through the filter to the bypass. So we'll just do that by running that around there. So now that's straight in and out. I test it by popping a little jug under here and opening this up. You should see that that's not much is coming out. And then another thing I'd say, just get your little spanner on here like so and then undo the little drain off and then we can drain off any water that out that's actually in here now so there we go it's all coming out system's still running you know we haven't turned anything off grab our little nipple and pop that back in now as well we don't want to forget that in a minute i always would put a little bit of a towel under here then you sort of pop that tab back just a little bit oh undo Guys, straight away, now let me just do this slowly so you can see it. In fact, I'm just gonna walk up to the camera so you know there's no skullduggeries going on, yeah? Can you see that there? I'm gonna pull that off, there we go. That's probably the equivalent of the sludge that we put in. We now know that this thing is definitely doing its job. It's only been on there five minutes, you know, it's not been on there long. So it's doing a mighty good job even after five minutes. So let's just give that a little wash off. Bucket full of munge as they say, in the land of munch. Put this back on, vent facing the top. Now what I'm gonna do, drain off is done up. Now I can take this off here. And we'll just get this on there like we normally would do if we were doing a standard fill. Right, chop that back to where you want it. Let's see if we can get some of this in. Let's get this bypass opening up. Let's see if we actually see it going around. Oh, it's going in, look! <laughs> Dude, that is, that is absolutely crazy. That's all gone, that's all gone. I don't know why I always act surprised, but it's just so much fun. <sighs> right, so that's in there now. Let it run around for a few minutes like you would do a normal heating system. Right, so now we're ready to remove our bits. So all we need to do, pop our bypass back on. I don't know why I get excited about it, I don't know. Am I sad, is it me? Is it just me? Let's reinstate the system. Right, so we are on bypass at the moment. Slowly undo this little beast here. Might get a little bit come out, not much. Filling up and venting the Atom is exactly the same as any of the other magnetic filters that AD make. Super easy to do, and it's even easier with that little handy tool that they supply as well to use on the bleed key. So guys, as you can see, we've installed this beast in a very, very small space from here to here. Neither of our pipes moved up or down because of that slip coupling that you can only get if you buy one of these. We've also successfully proved that it can filter out loads. I mean, look at the color of this pipe now compared to what it was earlier on. It's a lot cleaner now. And also I've shown you that we can fully inhibit as well using one of these as long as you use the Rapid system. Uh, it worked really well for that. As you see, we didn't have hardly any leaks. Right then guys, I've told you as much as I can about the AD Atom. How would you like the opportunity to win one of four of them? To enter, click on the link in the video description. Each action that you carry out on our competition will equal one entry. You have until 12 o'clock in the evening on November the 24th to enter. If you follow AD on Twitter, then you follow me on Instagram, then you follow my vlog channel, and also if you subscribe to Plumber Parts, that will equate to four entries. So good luck guys, and we'll let you know who wins next.
next week. So there you go, guys. I don't know what more I can do to tell you about how good one of these is. Hopefully, you've now got the uh, most of the information you need to make up your own mind. This is an excellent piece of equipment. It's so small. You can sit that just at the top there, knowing that you can get to it to do everything you need to do. Ease of installation is exceptional, really good. Filtration is really good as well. If you left that on your system for a whole year, that would work perfectly fine. And hopefully I've answered a lot of the questions that you guys put forward to us in the Q&A a few days ago. Thanks ever so much for watching today's video, guys. If you need any more help or any more information, please comment in the comment section below. Hit that like button. It means a lot for me to be able to tell you about new products, uh, how they work, and just give you a bit of a wider information as to what products are out there on the market that you can maybe check out. If you need any more information as well, pop over to AD. I'll leave a link so you can register your interest for the Atom below. I am gonna go and have a beer because I think I've done pretty well today. I like mine being big headed, but I really do. I've, not only have I really enjoyed showing you this, I've, had, I've just had fun building this little mock-up up. So yeah, really pleased with how this has come out. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. And remember, if there's one thing you gotta do, let's hold tight, baby. Let's hold tight! Oh yeah! Ah! Right, I'm off. I'm off. I've done enough. I've had enough. Come on then, guys. Let's go. Thanks ever so much for watching today, guys. Please go over and follow my vlog. I do lots of videos there that aren't anything to do with plumbing whatsoever. But if you're interested in travel, drone flying, filmmaking, and flying planes, I'm sure you'll enjoy it.